everyone, welcome back to Vince CGP. My name is Vince. And my name is Cole. Today we have our second ever episode of Budget vs. Nerf. Thank you guys so much for the support on the last Budget vs. Nerf video. Nobody said they wanted another one, but we're making another one. Today on this episode of Budget vs. Nerf, I have found what I truly believe could be a gun that rivals Nerf both in quality and in price, with this gun falling around $22 and this gun falling around $15. So today I will be representing Budget with the X-Shot Phase Clan Respawn, and Cole will be representing Nerf with the Rival Vision 800. <laughs> Let's get into it. Immediately out of the box, this thing feels a lot lighter. What I'm also gonna say, that grip is a lot more comfortable than this one. Even with my hands, this grip is uncomfortably large. Would you agree? I think oh, it's, 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 it's huge, it's huge yeah. Cole's gun has a maximum capacity of 10 darts with nine in the you know bottom. Ten. Mine seems to have a capacity of at most eight with one in the chamber. Both of ours have the same, like similar mechanics where you like pull like a thing down clip it in place, and then you can just start feeding them in. So, immediate benefits and cons. This grip is a lot more comfortable. This is a little bit of a smaller blaster. Another comparison, so you saw the way that Cole just primed that thing. It's this weird yeah. handle that you pull in the back and then you have to push back in. Benefit of this phase clan blaster, which we'll address that in a second, don't worry about it. It's slide action. One thing we do have to address, this is a phase clan X-Shot blaster. Um, so pros and cons of that, uh, it's no, there are no cons. Pros, if you like FaZe Clan, you're supporting your favorite creator, you're getting a pretty cool looking Nerf gun that is hopefully pretty effective. If you don't like FaZe Clan, like us, it's a pretty cool looking blaster, like in all honesty. It's really comfortable in the hand, this thing's really, really light. So right here you have your little access door, which is actually one of the nicer access doors I've ever seen. Do you have an access door on this? has no access yeah, door. So we're gonna go ahead, shoot it down the hallway. We unfortunately, I think, might have to shoot at each other. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out, so let's go do that. So again, this is the the rival one right now. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. So then you, three, two, one. No, that's harder. Okay. So here's loading it real quick. So you slide it down. There's these little notches right there. You hear a loud click, and then you just start putting them in one at a time. And they fall to the bottom. And then once you get them loaded, you just unclip it and it swings back up and then you gotta close it. And then, there we go. So, oh! Why? It's about the same, yeah. Come so on. they feed. So why don't you wanna fire off a few more shots just to make sure they're feeding consistently. All right. Hi down there. <laughs> so this is the Phase Clan X-Shot Respawn. To prime it. Mm -hmm. Back and forth like that. Oh crap, why is it not? It's on safety. Thank you. One. Not that bad. Not that bad, let me shoot you again. One. A that dry didn't. fire. Well, there's your first problem, folks. <laughs> Better hit? Yeah, I mean, probably. Not I that mean, bad? I know, shoot me with that one, I can okay. tell you. Two. One. Damn. Was that worse? Uh, I think so. Here's what I figured out. Up here you have this little place where you can put your finger. There's a little orange notch there. You bring that notch down until it clicks in place. Flip the gun over, load in your rounds, you just push them through. And then as soon as you're done loading as many rounds as you want in there, there's this little button on the side that you have to hit for the feeding mechanism to spring up and actually push the balls into the cocking mechanism so that you can fire. And that was also evidence that this thing feeds rival rounds reliably. So the rival rounds and the X-Shot rounds are cross compatible. So even if you decide you don't like this blaster, um, I would definitely look at the X-Shot rival rounds, the little X-Shot ball rounds, um, because they're gonna be a lot cheaper than a rival round refill, and you'll probably get more, and you can just have them as a cool red rival round replacement. So now it is time for our final opinions and for us to decide if Budget or Nerf has won this video. Um, so if you are looking to get into Nerf for a cheaper price, which gun is going to give you more value? Cole, why don't you talk about the pros and cons of the Vision? It's supposed to be like a secondary, I think, but it's just super bulky. It's like this weird thing. This is definitely not something you can just 
holster anytime soon. And the grip is massive. I don't know why you need this. Pull handle is definitely really hard. Of course, it's part of the AccuStrike series, so it's got adjustable sights, which I feel like are kind of more of a gimmick than anything else. So this, again, is the FaZe Clan X-Shot Respawn. I am a really big fan of this blaster. I think this was a really good investment for me. I will say the loading mechanism for this one is a little more complicated. With that, yeah. you just pull it down and then you push it in. It's got its own release. For this, you have to push it down and then press a button. It's only a little bit more complicated, but for some people, you know, that might make a difference. So if you only have like around $15, you don't want to save up for the nicer rival, you don't want to save up for this rival, just get this one. For this one, instead of that prime where it's a really hard prime that you have to go back and forth, you got the slide there, which I'm personally a fan of the slide. I really like the trigger pull on this one. The grip is really comfortable. It's really light. It's not that big and bulky for, you know, like a nine shot secondary. I'm really, really happy with this blaster. I would say that budget has won today's video. Definitely. I would say that overall the benefits of this one and the negatives of this are far outweighed by the benefits as opposed to that one. Yeah, so that is all for today's episode of Budget vs. Nerf. Let us know if you agree with us down in the comments below. And until next time, that's a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Pizza time. All right. Like, so we have guns and you don't, so come over here. <laughs> because the FaZe Clan Nerf gun was found. <laughs> because I bought another budget Nerf gun. Moving on. Oh, I'm just gonna go NPC mode. <laughs>